Welcome back to my channel for a very exciting video and this video is about shooting Leica M lenses on Nikon C cameras and in order to enable this I will use the brand new adapter from TechArt here which is called the TCM02 and there is a predecessor of this adapter there are lots of improvements if you go from the TCM01 to the 02 version I'm going to cover that in a moment and it's not only about shooting Leica M lenses on Nikon C cameras. What this adapter is promising here is lightning fast autofocus in autofocus single, autofocus continuous. They claim that they can preserve eye and face detection even in video mode with that adapter. And that's of course an interesting concept because Leica M lenses by their nature are purely manual lenses. And uh, that enables you to shoot manually operated lenses with an autofocus system on Nikon C cameras. And I have a bunch of equipment in front of me on the table. So first of all, we have my Nikon C9, which is one of my most favorite cameras. Then we have a bunch of Leica M lenses. We have Leica R lenses here. I even have here in the background a Voigtlander lens, which is currently mounted on my Leica M4. And what TechArt is also saying in the specifications of the adapter, that you can stack on top of it other adapters. So I have here, my Leica R to Leica M adapter is the original one from Leica. So we can actually try out how it is to shoot Leica R lenses mounted here on this adapter, then mounting the adapter on the TechArt adapter and having the TechArt adapter mounted on the Nikon C9. So there's a lot of things to try out in the next few minutes. And of course, I will also show some sample images how it looks like if you shoot top-notch Leica M lenses on the Nikon C9. Let's kick off the video. Let's do some housekeeping first. TechArt sent this adapter to me for free because they asked me if I would like to participate in the campaign when they launched the adapter. And I said, yes, so here's the adapter. We can try it out. I have not tried it out before I made this video. So this is the first time you will see it live. What happens if we mount different Leica MR lenses, what have you on the Nikon C9, but I need to provide that information. I didn't pay for the adapter. Having said that, Tech art is not paying me in any other way. So my review will be independent as always, and you will get my fully blunt opinion on that adapter and the shooting experience. Let's open the box and let's have a first view at this new tech art adapter. The box is nice and you can open it here. And then you see the adapter immediately here in some protection material. There's nothing more in the box than just the adapter, but you can actually purchase a USB dock for this adapter and keep it up to date in terms of firmware. For instance, if TechArt would implement autofocus speed improvements or if they enhance the compatibility of the adapter with future Nikon C cameras. The build quality of the adapter, if you feel it in your hands, is a very high build quality. It's very valuable in hand. You have a full metal construction here on the adapter itself. The cap here is a full metal cap and uh, it just feels very valuable. If you open this up here, we see here a lot of contacts and that's important because this adapter needs to move a fully manually operated Leica M lens on a Nikon C camera body. And if you own the predecessor of this adapter, the TCM01, this new one has a bunch of differences. So first of all, in the TCM01, we had one big motor, which was a bit more noisy. Here you have less noise and you have four light servo motors radically positioned. You also could operate with the predecessor of this adapter only Leica M lenses up to 300 gram. Now you can also operate heavier lenses. For instance, here's a Leica R lens and this adapter supports to move lenses forth and back for finding autofocus up to 500 gram. That's of course a big advantage. In contrast to the TCM01, this one here, the TCM02, not only supports autofocus single and autofocus continuous via these contacts here, but also eye and face detection, which is in particular nice on the Nikon C9 because the focus tracking system on the C9 is just a very good one. And TechArt also says that this will also work in video mode. And since the adapter is not getting in the way of the in-body image stabilization of the Nikon C9, you also can shoot longer exposures handhold with that adapter and Leica M lenses, for instance. The weight of the adapter is only 135 gram, which used to be the weight also of the TCM01. So in terms of weight, you're not contributing a lot to your Nikon C9 camera body. And then last but not least, to conclude the comparison between the TCM02 
and the former version, the TCM01, you also have a wider range of compatibility here. So I have the Nikon C9 here, which is the camera I will use to try this all out, but it's also compatible with the C6, the C6 Mark II, the C7, the C7 Mark II, which is another camera I own, the C9, of course, the C50, the CFC, which is the retro style looking camera from Nikon in their C lineup, and the C30. So you have a wide range of cameras, and since you can update the firmware, as I mentioned before, I'm sure TechArt will also keep up the compatibility with future Nikon C cameras. Before we go and play with a bunch of equipment here in front of me on the table, let me make one more remark why I think these type of adapters, they are really important for the community. Last year in 2022, I posted a video about shooting the Nikon C9 with Sony FE lenses with another adapter with autofocus and it worked astonishingly well. Autofocus was lightning fast, eye and face detection worked and in this way I can deploy my whole universe of Sony FE lenses which I own and also shoot them on the Nikon C9. I've done this many times in the past and in this way melting together my lens portfolio being it lenses from Hasselblad, Leica M, Leica R, SL, Sony FE, Nikon, Canon, Fuji, what have you, you can deploy in this way, using these type of adapters, all your lenses on one single camera body if you want and get a multiple of choices in your selection of what lens do I wanna shoot on one particular camera today. And that is of course a big advantage. That's why I think this video is super exciting besides the technical fact that Leica M lenses are born to be shot manual, but here with this piece of technology in between the camera and the lens, all of a sudden they become autofocus lenses capable of tracking. And that's of course by itself a very fascinating topic. Now we come to the fun part of the video and I'm really looking forward to it. Here's the C9 and I will mount now the adapter and then we start to play with the lenses and adapters in front of me on the table. So let's open this up here. Let's open the adapter here. Then we find here on the adapter a red dot. And by the way, as I said, I've not tried this out before. This is the first time you see me shooting that adapter here. And uh, we can align the red dot here with the white dot on the Nikon C camera body. And then we can just turn it until it snaps in. Listen to the sound. Very solid. There is absolutely no play here. If you look at that, no play between the adapter and the camera body, which is already a good first start. Now, the first lens I wanna try is the queen of my Leica M lenses. It's this one here. And this is the Noctilux. It's the Noctilux M lens and it's a 50 millimeter lens and its widest open aperture is an f1.2. I think based on reflections you might not see it well but here you see it a little bit. It's the newest Noctilux lens. I love shooting that lens and I also will show some sample images how it was shooting that lens on the Nikon C9 so you get some image impression how this looks like. So let's mount the Noctilux now on this Tech Art adapter. So we push the button here, we open this up, we open the lens here. And then we have here on the adapter a red dot for alignment, which is the red dot we need to match here on the lens. By the way, let's close this for a moment so we can mount this here. And then we just turn it until it again snaps in. Listen to the sound. Very nice, did you hear it? Very nice sound. And again, there is absolutely no play here between the lens and the adapter and the adapter and the Nikon C9 camera body. So build quality, absolutely top notch and uh, nothing to complain. Let's now turn the camera around. Let's switch it off. By the way, I have here brought a bit closer in the background Jennifer from The Witcher. She's my model for playing with equipment here in the studio. She has a face, she has eyes, and let's see what happens with this adapter and the Noctilux 50 millimeter. So let's switch the camera on here. Let me half press the shutter button. It finds focus. And then here you see it jumps immediately to the eye. I'm currently here in autofocus continuous, so if I keep pressing halfway the shutter button down, it should actually also stay on the eye when I move the camera. Let's try this out. Very nice, it stays. Look, it's very sticky on the eye of Jennifer. Absolutely impressive, so that works. And uh, I think that's a first good test. Let's focus away from Jennifer to the background. Let's take Darth Vader here. Found focus, well, it's still, oh, okay. It recognizes somebody here. That's interesting. Let's focus on the background on the tech art adapter on top of my TV found focus very quickly. Let's go back to Jennifer, jumps back to the face and uh, here it finds the eye. This is very impressive and I think a very promising start for my little experiments here I do with different lenses in front of me on the table. And I wanna show now a few sample images so you see what this combination Nikon C9 and Noctilux 50 millimeter f1.2 is capable of.
I hope you enjoyed these few sample images and they gave you a first impression what type of dreamy look you can generate if you shoot a Noctilux M 50mm f1.2 on a Nikon C9 or some other Nikon C camera body. All right, so this works reasonably fast and face and eye recognition also works reasonably well. I'm really happy and pleased with the result here. Let's spend a moment now on settings. And if I turn the camera around, you see I focus the Noctilux here manually at infinity. And that's in line with the instructions for the TCM01. And I think that's the way it also should be for the TCM02. So make sure you set your Leica M lens at focus at infinity. The second remark I wanna make concerns the aperturing. So here on the Noctilux, the aperture is set to f2.8. If I look at the camera body, it's also at f2.8 here where my thumb is resting, but that's not by chance. It's because it's the way I set it up. And if I turn the aperture ring here now, nothing will happen to this aperture value in the camera here at the bottom in the middle of the LCD screen. Let's have a look. Let me turn it and watch live what happens here. Actually nothing, you see? Nothing happens. You see the shutter speed because I'm in aperture priority updating, depending on whether I stop down or open wider the aperture, but the value here always stays the same. And that's because there is no communication between the lens and the camera body because Leica M lenses have no electronic contacts. The communication happens only between the tech art adapter and the camera, and then the motors of this tech art adapter move the lens forth and back to find focus. So the camera per se cannot know what aperture I've turned here on the aperture ring, whether it's an f2.8 or the widest open an f1.2. By the way, if you wanna see these motors in action, let's do the following here as a quick demonstration. Let's go into the I menu here. Let's go here from autofocus continuous to autofocus single. So autofocus is not updating. Let's focus on the background here on the tech art adapter box, immediately focus found. Let's put it in this direction and uh, let me get my hand here somewhere on the sideline and now watch here how this adapter is driving out via the motors moving the lens to find focus. Have a look and listen to the sound. You saw that? The lens is moving and that's of course done by the adapter, but between the lens and the camera per se, we don't have any communication. Now my advice how to set this up since there is no communication between the lens and the body in order to get the correct metadata into the camera is the following. Let's say we wanna shoot this now wider open and move here from f2.8 to an f1.4. Then I adjust the aperture ring on the Leica M lens and I use my control wheel, in my case it's the front control wheel, to actually get the aperture value here right for the camera. So let's open this wider here and then we have f1.4. Now the manual aperture ring here is set to 1.4. The camera body thinks this is an aperture f1.4 and in this way you have the correct metadata for your image. So let's focus again, that all works, very nice, fine. Here is the eye of Jennifer. It's always nice to work with that model here. And that's the way you should set it up. So you steer manually on the focus ring here to infinity, on the aperture ring to the aperture you wanna shoot at, and then you adjust the aperture here in the camera body so you get the metadata right. And since I'm in aperture priority, shutter speed is taken care of by the camera. I think it's time to switch lenses now. So let's get here the lens cap mounted on the Noctilux 50 f1.2. And the lens I wanna bring in is one of my most favorite lenses at all times. It's the Aposumicron M 35mm f2.0. And this is one of the newer lenses from Leica in their M lineup. And this lens has the advantage of a smaller minimum focusing distance. So you can get as close as 30 centimeter to your model. So I wanna bring here Yennefer in the background closer to the camera, I wanna mount this lens and then play a little bit with video autofocus tracking and see how this lens here is performing in video mode on my Nikon C9. Let's do a hot swap of lenses now. The camera is still switched on as you can see here. So let's push that lever, let's turn the lens and let's get the Noctilux off. Let's get the cap here for the Noctilux and then let's take the upper Sumicron 35 millimeter. Again, lining up the red dot with the red dot here. So bringing this in and then it snaps in. That's it. So now let's adjust the lens. I said before we need to focus here at infinity. So we go all the way here until we have infinity. And uh, let's go here to an aperture of f2.0. Let's open this widest and uh, let's see what we can get if we start to track in video mode here. Before doing that, remember what I said on metadata, let's get this here to an aperture of f2.0, which is what we have set up here on the lens. Let's try the normal autofocus here. Let's bring this into the middle 
And let's switch back to continuous autofocus. That's also important. Well, it immediately switched to autofocus continuous when I mounted the lens. That's good. All right, let's see. So also here on a 35 millimeter, it immediately jumps in focus to the eye of Yennefer. We can turn this around, it gets sticky. That's all working fine. But what I want to try now is video mode, getting Yennefer closer. And let's see how the focus is updating with that Aposumicron 35 millimeter. I've mounted the Nikon C9 now on a small tripod. Yennefer is much closer based on a minimum focusing distance of 0.3 meter for the Aposumicron M35. And I also have configured the camera for subject tracking. So if we look into the menu here, we have first of all AFF. And that means if you want to know what that is, go to the help. We have full-time autofocus for moving subjects. So that's good. I also have then here set up on the focus mode below that on autofocus area mode here, subject tracking autofocus. And uh, we have this set up here for human faces and human moving subjects. So this is all set up and it's fine. And if I now focus, it jumps immediately to the eye. And what I'm going to do now is I will move Yennefer and see if the focus is sticky on the eye and following my subject here. So let's do this, let's move her. Let's do this a bit quicker. Three-dimensional in the other direction. Let's move her like this. It's still staying. So this is a very sticky eye autofocus. And I think this is a very impressive result given that we shoot here a Leica M fully manual lens on an adapter widest open at f2.0 in video mode on the Nikon C9. Of course, at the position where Jennifer stopped moving, we can now also check again and verify that the autofocus is really spot on on the eye and the face. And we magnify this here. And yes, this is absolutely sharp. So I think the video test is passed for this TechArt adapter TCM-02. And we can move on and look at some other lenses here and adapters in front of me on the table. Now I wanted to actually shoot a Leica R lens, namely this beauty here, which is a 90 millimeter lens. So this is an Aposumicron from the R lineup, 90 millimeter widest open f2.0, which from a weight perspective should just fit the adapter. It's just below 500 gram. But unfortunately, I was not able to mount the Leica R2M adapter to the tech art adapter. And I tried hard. I want to show this quickly here. So here's the red dot. We align this here, the red dot, and um, it fits. And you see, if I push that lever, that red stick here goes inside. So there is nothing in the way which I could figure out, but I cannot turn it. There is resistance here. And I don't want to either damage my Leica R2M adapter nor the TechArt adapter, so I just gave up. Maybe there are other adapters where it works, but this one here, which is originally from Leica, is not possible to mount on the TechArt adapter. There is resistance, and even if you apply some force, it's just not screwing in. Well, if the Leica R2M adapter cannot be mounted for reasons I don't understand, and I guess TechArt will get back to me on this issue, then we can at least try to mount the macro adapter for Leica M cameras. And let's see if that is working. So if we align here the red dot, let's quickly do this. This one works, no problem at all. It snaps in and uh, we have the macro adapter now. So we could actually go and uh, try to shoot here some longer tele lenses from the Leica M lineup. So let me see what I have here in the studio. So we can at least try this out and in this way have stacked adapters, a macro M adapter, on the TechArt adapter on the Nikon C9. The lens I would love to mount on the macro adapter here is the 90 millimeter lens from Leica. It's the Sumilux M widest open f 1.5. It's a brilliant lens. I reviewed this lens on my channel, but this lens is too heavy. The weight is beyond 500 gram. And we made this huge progress on the TechArt adapter from up to 300 gram now to 500 gram. But these large M lenses, they are still too heavy because they are beyond 500 gram. The same applies, of course, to the 75 millimeter here. This is a Noctilux 75 millimeter widest open f 1.25. And uh, this is a fantastic lens, but it's too heavy. You could only shoot this with manual focusing on the adapter, but not use the motors and autofocus because these motors are lightweight and they will be overwhelmed by the weight of these two large, bulky, very heavy Leica M lenses. So the alternative we can go for now with the macro adapter is this one here. That's also 75 millimeter. It's an Aposumicron M 75 millimeter. It's a special limited edition from the Lenny Kravitz edition of the Leica M camera. And uh, I will mount this lens and will try my luck with this lens on the macro adapter. I'm curious how this works now because the Aposumicron 75 millimeter is getting closer to the limit because that's a 430 gram lens and uh, is on the heavier side of Leica M lenses mounting it. 
it's actually an interesting combination to have that limited special edition here on top of the macro adapter on top of the tech art adapter i've also screwed this out to the maximum and let's now see if we can shoot some meaningful images here with autofocus on the nikon c9 so i brought yennefer closer and you see here if i halfway press the shutter button it jumps immediately to the eye so this lens recognizes the face and the eye it works in the combination with the tech art adapter here and the macro adapter for the M system and the upper Summicron 75 millimeter. So that's quite nice. It's actually working. And uh, you see here, it's a little bit hunting forth and back, but I think we find focus here. And that's proof of concept that stacked adapters also work. Unfortunately, I couldn't try it with Leica R lenses. I would have loved to do this, but it just didn't fit. And then applying unnecessary force is just not the right thing to do. All right, let's unmount the Voigtlander lens here. So that's actually very simple let's get my leica m4 here in the background and let's mount this lens here and uh, we have here the red dot so we can align this and this beautifully fits on the tech art adapter so let's get the lens cap away and then we can try to focus so here we go let's quickly check the settings here i'm in autofocus continuous 3d tracking that looks all good so let's try to focus let's aim at yennefer and yes immediately finds the eye is also very sticky so this works with these Voigtlander lenses in the same way as with Leica M lenses. There is one word of caution when it comes to adapters, which I will have as the last point here in my video. And then let's conclude what we found here. The limitation you have when you want to stack adapters is that lever here. It's necessary to push in that little pin here so you can mount it. Have a look here. You see how this is coming in if I push it. But that might be in the way with some adapters because one other adapter I looked into quickly was this one here, which helps me to mount Nikon lenses on Leica M. And it kind of fits, but then the lever is in the way. So have a look here. It fits, but now it's not coming in in the way that I can turn it. I can turn it a little bit and I could also test that it works in terms of autofocus, but the form of the adapter is essential. And that construction based lever here limits a little bit your options on adapters you can stack on top of the tech art adapter. Let's try this again here. So here we go. And you see if we look around the camera here, here it's getting more close to the tech art adapter mm -hmm. and here that lever is preventing it for getting fully close so I could turn it. I can turn it a little bit as I said and I can quickly show you. I would not recommend you doing this at home because it will put your lens at risk but I can show you quickly that this is working now and if I mount a very kinky Nikon lens here so that's the PC Nikkor 28 millimeter. It's a perspective control lens. It's a lens I've reviewed various times on my channel, used and shut. It has shift functionality, so you can shift that lens and in this way, correct perspective. It's a very nice lens. And even with these, let's call it esoteric lenses, the tech art adapter with a stack adapter on top in not so much firm construction here for experimental reasons will work with autofocus. So let's quickly check this out. So I've mounted this now halfway, but it's a very loose construction. As I said, please don't do it at home. Let me do it for experimental reasons at my own risk. But I want to try out now if the autofocus is working with this perspective control lens, which actually is a fully manual lens in the Nikon system and has no autofocus capabilities built into the lens at all. So let's try to do this careful in order not to damage anything. Let me get the camera switched on. Let's quickly check the settings again. Autofocus continuous, face recognition, and see, it's working. It jumps immediately to the face. So the only limitations I had in my experiments here were that my adapters on top of the tech art did not really fit based on the construction and form. But the autofocus is reliable. So whatever adapter you find, which will fit on the tech art adapter and then mounting whatever lens you want from third parties, it will always work and autofocus will be reliable. Let's look at tracking here with that perspective control lens, which is probably the most kinky thing you can do. And uh, you see it finds the eye immediately and the face and it also sticks on it. So the absolutely gorgeous autofocus system from the Nikon C9 is fully replicated and fully available with the tech art adapter. And I think it's time now to conclude the video and get this kinky construction dissolved so that my lens is not dropping down and gets damaged. Let me now wrap up the video and come to conclusions. First of all, this new tech art adapter Mark II, TCM 02, is absolutely brilliant. Whatever Leica M lens you have, up to a weight of 500 gram, this adapter will turn it into an autofocus lens with very fast autofocus that was reasonably fast what I've seen here in my experiments with eye detection, face detection, focus tracking, working in video, being sticky on the eye. 
in the way you saw it in my experiments here. That is a huge technical achievement because Leica M lenses are not built to be shut with autofocus. With this adapter, it becomes possible and it's not only a gimmick. I've seen autofocus adapters in the past, but very often autofocus was super slow and I nevertheless then switched to manual focus. Here, you really have spot on focus, tracking in video and still images. It's remarkable. Second, bear in mind that there is this lever here and for my Leica R2M adapter, it just didn't work and uh, since I'm not paid for marketing for tech art, I'm also free to say openly what didn't work. That's I think the objectivity and the ambition I have on my channel and that just didn't work. I would have had to apply a lot of force and I didn't want to do that, but probably even with a lot of force, I could not have screwed it onto the tech art adapter. And then on the other adapter you saw in blue from Novaflex, that almost worked, but here the lever was in the way. So whenever you want to stack adapters, make sure the form of the adapter is not getting in conflict with that lever here because then it will not work. Now, after the experiments, and I will do a little more in the next weeks, I guess, because that topic really interests me, I can fully recommend the TechArt adapter because for the price tag you will have to pay. I think the TCM01 was around $350. This one will be hopefully in the same order of magnitude. You get a very nice tool to leverage your Leica M lenses, which are very expensive, of course, in a totally different way on Nikon C cameras. And if you have the money to spend thousands of bucks on Leica M lenses, why not, if you also have a Nikon C camera system, why not purchasing an adapter which opens up completely new possibilities. If you liked that video, don't forget to drop me a thumbs up. Stay tuned on my channel, there's always more to come. Thanks for watching, stay safe and healthy and of course, peace out.